And this is my 2021 Volkswagen GTI. This is the Autobahn package. So it's the fully loaded um, leather, sunroof. I don't really know. I think they all come with the Golf R brakes, the LSD in 2021. Uh, I thought I'd post a video of it since my subscribers keep climbing. Maybe you guys like the car, like the content. So I thought I'd let you guys uh, see the car and give you a little breakdown when I got done to it. Not much, but just subtle things that make it stand out. I actually just bought, well, pre-ordered a 2023 Golf R yesterday. I got it in the same color, which is pure white. I think it's the sharpest color of this car. And uh, I got the six-speed manual. But for this, what I have done, uh, just basic bolt-ons. Like I have the uh, CTS turbo, uh, turbo inlet pipe. I have the CTS turbo intake, uh, CTS turbo front mount intercooler, uh, CTS catless downpipe with a resonator delete. Um, then I just have little other stuff like suspension. I have H&R uh, lowering springs. Uh, what else? These are the uh, 18 by eight and a half all around super speeds. These are the RF 03 RRs. I think they look nice on this car. It's tight, eh? Uh, I also have um, 20 millimeter spacers in the rear with the 15 millimeter in the front. So it's like flush, it's nice. Uh, Aerofab front splitter, this is the track version. Side relocate plate. And just uh, some badge skins, just to get rid of like the, the orange amber signals. They look like shit, looks like a fucking construction vehicle. But proper setup, this is the six speed manual if you have dsg it's gonna be quicker but you're a bitch it's automatic fuck out of here this car i drive my car doesn't drive itself i drive my car so yeah the, the dsg is gonna be quicker but i had a dsg car i had a golf r 2019 and i didn't like the rev hang on it on the seven speed dsg i have the bfi weighted shift knob uh, stock clutch. I'm on the integrated engineering stage 2 high torque file with crackles and uh, the stock clutch is holding up really well. The car's only got like 20,000 K on it but I beat the shit out of it every time I drive it and the clutch handles it like a champ. So I don't know if maybe 2021 maybe they upgraded the clutches. Maybe it's like the Golf R clutch or something because I know I had a 2015 Mark 7 GTI and the clutch was slipping really bad with the APR stage two tune but it's nice in this i also have it uh, so it's is20 stock turbo but full bolt on but um i'll show you i have it like gutted in the trunk so it's only the two front seats the rest is gutted it's a nice car man my Golf R, my 2023 Golf R will be arriving and they told me a year and a half wait. So I'm cool with hanging on to my 2021 GTI until then. This car is uh, it's a blast to drive for the streets. IE is claiming exactly 300 to the wheel. So it feels like it. It puts the power down pretty good with the LSD front wheel drive. Um, from a roll, it's pretty good on the highway. It's good on gas, better than the Golf R. And personally, I think the, the Mark 7.5 GTIs look better than the Mark 7.5 Golf Rs. I feel like the Golf R, it's too subtle looking. I think the GTI is a little more aggressive with the red and the headlights, and red trim pieces. Interior's nice. The red trim on the, on the seats and everything. Overall, nice car happy with it gets the job done yeah that's my car